go in here quickly. I'll keep an eye on the others that have walked away because with those guys that have walked further away, once I see them getting through that thicket, it will mean that they're getting a little bit closer towards the Gallego side and that will make it much easier for us to get across and find them that side. I was hoping that we'll see them kind of drinking all around the pan here with this beautiful afternoon light. It would have just been so nice to have watched them. But I think with the presence of the odd male around, it's caused a little bit of tension amongst the herd and that's why they've moved off. We can see one young male that's taking it a little bit easier than the rest and is deciding to have a late afternoon drink. And isn't the light beautiful at this time of the day? It is one of the best times to be down by water because you'll get that golden light that comes over the western horizon and it will just fill all the water with light and that reflects up onto the elephant itself and you can see the water dripping from his mouth very pretty sight I always love spending time with elephants at water holes just because of how relaxed it feels everybody seems to just be on a go slow when they get to water it's a kind of lazy way that they go about things here comes another one it actually looks like some of them are turning back and coming this way. I wonder if it's not two different herds that we've seen here. I can just see the last of that bigger herd moving off, but there are a few more dotted around. And so I wonder if it wasn't just two herds that came together and the one herd saw there was others here already and decided, well, we're going to leave it and we're going to carry on to the next water source. But it's good that the elephants are slowly coming back. This is definitely the most positive sign of a herd being in the area and spending time that we've had over the past few weeks. So there's been quite a few down on Chitwa Way. And speaking to the guys, the other rangers around us, they said they've had quite a lot of elephants down near the eastern boundary and around Cheetah Plains and Coral Side. So maybe all of those herds are going to start shifting back up towards Juma. And as water and resources have been exhausted to our south, so they'll start to move and come to this area. You are a very noisy drinker, little one. Can you hear it sucking up the water? What are you doing? Now normally when elephants drink they'll make a sucking sound to get the water up but after that it's fairly quiet but this one you can actually hear it sucking when it's pushing water into its mouth. What are you doing? I wonder if there isn't a lot of debris on this water that when it sucks it, it's able to almost filter it over its tongue. It's interesting. It's funny to watch him. It's drinking a little bit differently to others and there's no damage on the trunk itself that would indicate why we would be hearing that sucking sound more than normal. But there comes a whole bunch of others, young males. It seems as though all the young boys have decided there's no ways that they are going to bypass and actually more elephants are coming down past us as we're speaking. So here comes the rest of another herd that is coming down. So I, exactly what I first thought is that there are two different herds here. Here come all the others and it is going to be absolutely beautiful when they all line up to drink. They are going onto the side where the light is so they're doing us a great service by not drinking very close to where we are. Hello. Are you enjoying your afternoon? There's one that came down with a little fluster. Yes, yes, go. Let's see her ears out. She's just wondering why there's a big object at the water hole, so she'll be fine just now. And you can see the rest of them just moving around near us. I love the way elephants run to water. Shiva, you say these Ellies are so playful with water. They are. They. It's amazing how elephants love water. For some reason, when they get near water, they're almost the child comes out in them, and they start running around and playing and splashing water at one another. It's a fantastic thing to watch. I always enjoy Ellie's at water holes, and we've had some great sightings of them, particularly at Chitwa. They like to swim there, so you'll find them going in and playing and going crazy. And I love the fact that when they come down to this particular water hole, there's a slight slope that comes down, and so they end up running rather than actually walking. And you'll get a situation where there's kind of some of them almost run too fast for their own bodies and they end up falling down the hill rather than actually walking down it. But look, they're going to line up perfectly for us on the other side in the most 
perfect golden light. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the little baby in amongst there as well. And it's the smallest one is now packed firmly in the middle of all of the adults, so you can see it kind of taking it easy. And on the right hand side, we're going to find two Egyptian geese coming through as well. They were just coming past. There they come. So they were very disturbed by the elephants running past, and so they've decided a quick exit is needed. Get to the other side of the waterhole for a little bit more of a relaxed session. Very cool. Look at the young bull watching them go past. <laughs> I'm sure he's tempted just to run in and chase them off, as young males often do. But at least he's decided not to, and the Egyptian geese are safe for another day. Machine gun nest, you say you love it when the Ellie's trumpet. Well, machine gun nest, I do too. I think it's one of the best sounds, and hopefully we will hear them trumpeting. They sometimes do trumpet around water, particularly when they jostle and vie for position. Luckily enough, this particular water hole is big, and there is a nice long shoreline, so all of them can have enough space to drink. But when you find when it's a crowded little water hole, often there is a bit of trumpeting that goes on. So it would be really nice if we did hear them. The other thing about trumpeting is that it's generally sound is normally when they're in a little bit of distress. So I suppose it's not good for us to actually hear them trumpet because it's the Ellies themselves are not happy. But wouldn't it be nice now if little Tumbo or Tundi decided to pop out and spend some time with elephants? Like I've said before, I have worked with a tracker that says that elephants and leopards go hand in hand. And generally where there's lots of elephants, you'll find leopards are walking behind and just following in what's going on. And we know that there was a leopard on the dam cam last night, so it's very possible that maybe, just maybe, there is a leopard lurking somewhere here. And these elephants have come pretty much from where Tumba was this morning, so I wouldn't be surprised that he might have followed them all the way along as they've come through. I think it's the fact that elephants make so much noise that the leopards enjoy seeing what's going on and they follow all of this commotion and just because they're curious cats, and particularly a young one like Tumba. The best thing about Ellie's at a waterhole like this is just the sounds that are made. It's so nice to hear them drinking and splashing and snorting. Safari wild man, you say you love the afternoon sun. Well, it is very pretty, and particularly at Gari Dam at this time of the day, the afternoon light that comes across this waterhole is exquisite. And when the Ellie's come down, it is the perfect place for them to drink on that side because we end up with a situation where we get this golden reflection on them. So it is really nice when we get the elephants here in the afternoons. It's very pretty indeed. And I would love to actually see a pride of lions lined up. So the Inkuma pride lined up along the water's edge in this afternoon light would be quite nice as well. But today we've got the Ellie's and we'll certainly take that. I'm just as chuffed with Ellie's as anything else. Why are you reaching so far in, little one? And that one will still be learning exactly what to do with its trunk. It's about the age where it's got a pretty good handle on what's going on. I would say it's between a year and two years. And generally by two years, they're effectively using their trunk quite well. So it will have a handle of what's going on. But every now and then there'll be a little malfunction. And water, I think, poses a few challenges from time to time. And they watch the adults. And you'll often find with adults, when they first come to a water hole, they'll drink very close to the edge of the water. But as the water is disturbed from them drinking, so they start to reach further and further. And I think that little one is just mimicking what it's seen from the adults. And that's why it was reaching so far. Now, I was talking about leopards just now. And they're synonymous with elephants sometimes, according to some. And it seems as though Byron is still with the old legend Mvula. And it sounds like he's decided to clean himself up after his meal.